Here is Joe. Why the long face? I'm studying for a bio test next week, but I can't seem to grasp the topic about cells. Okay, then let me help you. Yay! A cell is like a hmm. Aha! A cell is like a sushi restaurant. Really? Yep. Let me show you why. The nucleus of a cell controls all the activities that are taking place in a cell. Likewise, the restaurant's manager is in charge of everything that is happening within his restaurant. For example, the hiring and firing of staff. Also, the nucleus functions to protect the cell's genetic material. Let's say this particular sushi restaurant is just one outlet of many others in the chain. In this case, the manager is responsible for reporting his restaurant's progress, expenditure, etc., to his boss to ensure that his outlet will not close down. However, take note that sushi restaurant managers do not necessarily need to be spherical in shape. Ha ha ha! Point taken. Next up, we have the mitochondrion. This is where our generator comes in. Huh? What kind of generator? This one. Oh. Mitochondria, the plural form of mitochondria, are responsible for the production of energy in the cell in the form of adenosine triphosphate molecules. Our generators, meanwhile, produce energy in the form of electricity, the charge that the whole restaurant relies on for its power supply. The difference here is that while mitochondria are sites of aerobic respiration, generators are not. Moving on, here are our lysosomes. Lysosomes are keen to the waiters and waitresses that work in the sushi restaurant. Lysosomes are in charge of digesting worn-out organelles in the cell. Similarly, waiters and waitresses clear up tables with unfinished food after customers leave. Besides that, lysosomes also digest foreign bacteria found in cells. Likewise, some waiters and waitresses are assigned to clear trash found on the floor. Remember that unlike lysosomes, however, waiters and waitresses do not eat the rubbish that they find. They just clear it. That's very obvious, Cheryl. <laughs> I know. Anyway, let's proceed to the cell wall. The cell wall is a rigid structure that provides strength and shape to the cell. Meanwhile, the walls of the sushi restaurant are stable and define the shape and size of the restaurant, just like the cell wall. The difference here is that cell walls are not fully permeable. <sighs> I like to try walking through walls. Of course, we can't have a cell wall without the cell membrane. The cell membrane functions to control the movement of substances in and out of the cell. In the same way, the door of the sushi restaurant opens and closes to allow customers in and out. The difference over here is that doors are neither hydrophobic nor hydrophilic, unlike the cell membrane. Oh. Next up, we have the sushi chefs. Sushi chefs? Yep, the sushi chefs. A sushi chef is just like a chloroplast. Chloroplasts convert light energy into the form of adenosine triphosphate and sugars. During operating hours, sushi chefs do just that. Well, to a limited extent, actually, they use the ingredients provided to make sushi. However, sushi chefs do not photosynthesize. Hey, this analogy thing's getting cooler by the minute. Wait till you hear about the vacuum. I don't want to wait. Tell me about it now. All right, I'll be nice. Like the vacuum, a conveyor belt is a permanent structure and has a fixed shape. It also occupies a large central part of the sushi restaurant. Other than that, the vacuum transports materials within the cell. The conveyor belt functions in the same way as it facilitates the movement of sushi to tables within the restaurant. Nice. What about this difference then? Vacuums contain lysosomes, the organelles that I associated with waiters and waitresses just now. However, it is pretty obvious that the conveyor belt does not bring them around the restaurant. It only carries sushi. Now, let's proceed to the tiny sites, the ribosomes. For this, we'll use the restaurant's kitchen. While the ribosomes are sites where proteins are manufactured, 
The kitchen is the site where sushi and other dishes are synthesized. The contrast between a cell's ribosome and a sushi restaurant's kitchen is that one floats freely around the cell while the other does not float freely around the restaurant. Ha ha ha! Let's continue the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum detoxifies harmful substances in the cell. Likewise, the health supervisor of the restaurant converts contaminated sushi into uncontaminated food upon his detailed inspection. But please bear in mind that health supervisors cannot and do not synthesize substances such as fat and steroids, otherwise known as sex hormones. Okie dokie, let's carry on to the last organelle of the day, the Golgi apparatus. What? The last already? Yep, and this one is interesting too. So listen up! The Golgi apparatus packages proteins into vesicles to secrete out of the cell. In the same way, the delivery man packages sushi into takeaway packages and transports the food to customers for home delivery orders. For the Golgi apparatus to package the proteins, it has to modify them first. The delivery man from the restaurant, however, guarantees that food that has been ordered will be served and no modifications will be made. And thus, this marks the end of my analogy. Wow, that was really cool! I hope it helps! That's how I studied for the test! Yeah, it sure does. I think I'm gonna ace it now. Thanks, Cheryl. Here's a sushi for your hard work. We, we hope, hope you have enjoyed our analogy. analogy. May you use it and ace your test too!